Let's throw out some numbers. 5.4 million Americans right now have Alzheimer's disease. Statistics are actually probably higher than that already, but that's a huge burden on our society. Globally, worldwide, there's at least 30 million individuals who are currently right now suffering with Alzheimer's disease. Have you ever wondered what the difference is between dementia and Alzheimer's? Are those interchangeable concepts? In fact, Alzheimer's represents 80% of all individuals who have some form of dementia. So clearly Alzheimer's is the most important population-based concern as it, as it leads to dementia and cognitive brain decline. But <clears throat> when we look at those numbers, we actually are missing something. We're actually missing the point as to who's actually at risk right now. Yes, there's a lot of people, millions of people right now who have Alzheimer's, but how many of us alive right now will eventually succumb to Alzheimer's? Studies are showing that out of the 318 million individuals in the United States right now, 45 million of us will eventually be diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Unless, unless we come to recognize the multiple factors that contribute to this condition and develop our own personalized wellness strategy that would potentially dramatically decrease that risk. The vast majority of that risk literally can be wiped away if we know about it soon enough. Globally, by 2015, it is estimated that there will be 160 million people worldwide that are suffering from Alzheimer's. Did you know that somebody with Alzheimer's requires essentially three full-time caregivers? looking at three eight-hour shifts. They can't be left alone. Not in the, certainly not in the advanced stages. It is also typical that the average cost of caring for somebody with Alzheimer's is, is far exceeding $100,000 a year in, many, in most cases. So it's a huge challenge, and that's why we need to be talking about it now. We need to be... Uh, looking at all the things that we could address right now, both from a preventive management and potential reversal strategies for early Alzheimer's disease. By the time we're 65 years of age, somewhere between 10 and 20 percent of individuals already have early signs of Alzheimer's. By the time we reach 85 years of age, a full 40 to 50% of us will already be diagnosed with Alzheimer's. That's the status quo. That's assuming nothing changes. More close to home for most of us is the fact that if you're 40 years or older, and that pretty much is all of us, <laughs> right? All of us that have the interest in this topic are probably going to be over 40 years of age. By the time we're 40 years old, essentially all of us have visible biological layers of beta amyloid plaque in our brain. Widely considered to be the hallmark of Alzheimer's disease. This is something that we all should be paying attention to. Uh, again, even more close to home, there is a disparity. There's a gender disparity in Alzheimer's where two-thirds of all individuals with Alzheimer's are women. And 
And when it comes to caregiving, 60% of the caregivers are women. And so women, you in particular need to be paying attention to these strategies. But we're all in the same boat in the end. A woman's chance of developing Alzheimer's is now greater than her chance of developing breast, ca breast cancer. All this talk about breast cancer, rightly so, but in fact that pales in comparison, in comparison to the risk associated with breast cancer. And zero represents the number of cures available today according to the conventional wisdom. Zero. That has to change. There is a great organization out, and you can actually watch their videos on YouTube, and we'll be talking about several of the, of the key researcher, physician presenters that are part of the Cure Alzheimer's Fund. See, sometimes people are, are, are shy away from even bringing the word cure into the discussion with Alzheimer's. 